Well, our preparation for Worlds is a... It's a whole lot different from preparing for anything else, you know. It's, uh, over the years, I definitely had to develop a focus on uh, fitness, I think, for me, was the biggest thing, was to gain confidence from being super fit. Uh, to me, there's a whole lot of stuff you've got to sort, but... I mean, if I look back and use New Zealand this year as a reference, I would say for me it was a matter of just simply uh, being an older athlete, just trying to drop weight down, trying to increase flexibility through Pilates and core strength, and also just uh, getting cardiovascular to be good. You know, trying to trying to work into a heat. Uh, there's a different type of fitness to a free surf, so. You know, I think for competitors for the future, I think they could look at their, their, their fitness. Uh, also, your, your equipment's got to be totally on point. I mean, again, and, and we kind of covered all of this before, but we looked at what kind of waves we're going to be on offer in New Zealand and also you know, the experimentation between EPS boards and uh, normal PU boards. So, <clears throat> to me, having equipment on point was really important. Uh, being clear about your goals as well. I think uh, I remember in the past, uh, particularly in the 90s, uh, when I really focused on this, you know, which was from my mid-20s to my mid-30s, uh, that was a lot of it to me was mental was to try and keep completely focused on what the goal was working hand in hand with uh, with coaches stuff like that so yeah so mental uh, physical and equipment Your next question, how does the world differ in New Zealand? Well, <clears throat> uh, I've just arrived at Victoria Bay, by the way. Beautiful little place. Pretty flat today. Uh, back to the questions. New Zealand. Look, hats off New Zealand. They did a great job. Loved the experience. I heard so many good stories uh, in two, you know, from the 2009, I think it was, world. So, you know, like a decade later, I said to myself, you know, if, if it ever gets back there, I'd, I'd like to go and see it. I'd never experienced New Zealand. What a great country. Loved every moment. Um, yeah, yeah. What differs? Well, not much, you know, you kind of, it is world titles, it's business time, you know, you're trying to win heats, you're trying to do your very best. Uh, I didn't attend the one in Spain. Um, yeah, which I believe was pretty cool. And uh, did I mention why there were no Spanish at the event in New Zealand? Anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, you know, Novikov winning in... Spain kind of motivated me. Thanks, Nov. Um, you know that if you stay fit, healthy, and relevant, and the surf's over three foot, you can still get a result, you know. So that was part of the inspiration. Loved the trip to New Zealand. As I say, uh, I chose to extend the time. Everybody else went over to, from the South African crew, went over to Phillip Island. I'm glad they did that. It was a great result for Lester Sweetman and you know, all those guys have got their competitive goals and stuff like that. Um, and that's fantastic. I loved it. But for me, it was, you know, I'm in the mid-50s, guys. I wanted to experience New Zealand. Uh, big thanks again to Craig MacDonald who hooked me up, drove me all the way down to Invercargill, got to go and experience the entire length of the South Island and then all the way up to the North Island, stayed with friends in Raglan. What a lack of waves, by the way great waves there, love the, love the community, etc, etc. I've got nothing but good things to say about New Zealand. Um, yeah, the event itself, you know what? I think you travel halfway around the world and you're trying to fit five and a half days worth of heats into six days. I think they've got to look at waiting periods. 
you know, the event did get let down by swell in the end. Uh, I thought everything but finals day uh, and pre-finals day were good from the point of view of surf conditions, etc., etc. I think, you know, Surfing New Zealand did a good job of administering uh, in the back office there. So, yeah, a great experience. I think those are the positive things for the sport. It was, it was positive. And... Um, certainly a great catalyst for Portugal coming up in a year or two's time so yeah I hope that uh, I hope that what was achieved in New Zealand will be compounded and improved upon uh, up in Europe Ah, oh, the COVID question. Yeah, well, 2020, what a strange year. Uh, what do I say about it, you know? I nearly got stuck in New Zealand. I'd extended my time, and I literally was the last flight out of New Zealand itself. Um, and I almost debated staying in New Zealand for lockdown, but... You know, if they told me it was just going to be three weeks, well, that's fine. But I mean, it's, I mean, the, the world's all in still different stages of lockdown. So, yeah, um, I don't know if a lot of people will know this, and I kind of didn't make it public, but um, I actually contracted the COVID in July. I picked it up um, while I was on a surf trip inside South Africa. And um, what's interesting is a week or two ago, a guy exactly my age, my friend from school, uh, actually died, got COVID and died. So how much do I owe the world titles, kneeboarding, surfing, staying fit and healthy for me not dying and my mate who chose to hang at the pub and, you know, kind of focus more on trying to make money well he ain't here anymore so yeah so you can kind of get quite introspective on it um, a lot of people ask me how the COVID was well it's kind of like having the worst hangover you've ever had well that's how I experienced it uh, constant constant headache uh, radical fatigue and I just slept I slept for like 12 days I just slept it was crazy good for, good for my good for my losing weight campaign because I didn't eat but yeah um, so yeah the COVID year wow but yeah I'm fitting well now I contracted in July it's October I'm good um, yeah business wise obviously impacted but you know now that life is almost returning back to normal um, hasn't affected us too badly actually but yeah hope that uh, you know anyone that hears this message uh, you know what's what's the message from this be safe and yeah it's crazy crazy COVID year wow